those you've heard, welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Today, we are stranded on this beach after falling off a cliff. We helped out our buddy over here, and it seems like they're leading us to this cliff, so I don't wanna waste too much time here. Let's go see what they're doing. Whoa, it's a little spooky in here, but we're in the Inlet Grotto. I guess they'll sort of guide the way for us. They are so cool. So, obviously, this is some kind of legendary Pokemon. They were on the cover of the game, Obviously you get this one for Pokemon Violet, but the red one for Pokemon Scarlet. But look at this place, what are this? What is all the screens? Have we got some kind of like moss or maybe it's ore? Oi, Zebra, huh? Hi, down here. Simona, there you are, Zebra, you okay? You're not hurt, right? I'm fine. Thank goodness, I was really worried. If you'd gotten hurt because I said we should go looking for whatever made that cry, no, never mind that. Right now we've gotta focus on getting you back up here. You've just gotta find some way to climb out of there. If you can get close enough, I'll try pulling. You up with one of my Pokemon's moves. All right. Uh, but for right now, there's a Pokeball over this way. Hey, what's that Pokemon in front of you? It looks super strong. Kinda seems like it's waiting for you. Does it want you to follow it? It might, but I wanna pick this up first. It is another potion. What is with this stuff though? I guess it is like some kind of moss. I, I couldn't tell if it was like inside the rock or not, but whoa, broke that open no problem, didn't you? But there are some Pokemon waiting for us. Whoa, that was amazing. The Pokemon might be as strong as mine, maybe stronger. It looks like there's like, I think Houndoom around here. We'll have to be careful about that. But there is also a Pokemon over this way and we can actually fight and catch these, right? Yes, we can. All right then, so this is a Young Goose, I don't think this one's new to this game, but I do have to be careful with this one, it's only level two, so actually maybe I'll just be able to bite, it might be a one hit takedown, actually, I don't know. Ooh, it will be, so gotta be careful about that. But I do need to heal Sprigatito soon enough, but it looks like Hopup is gonna get to level four, very cool. We'll be changing up our team soon enough um, when we find different Pokemon that we might wanna sort of keep as mainstays, but for right now, it's just gonna get whatever we can. But I wanna go ahead and grab that, the Pokeball. Was there anything more over that way? Oh, it doesn't look like it, so I'll keep following you. If I do see another young goose, I might wanna do that. But now's a great time to actually, oh, I can't, I'm trying to pull up a potion or something, it's not letting me, weird. But we'll get another potion there. Yeah, I'm trying to pull the, okay, no, this is the camera app. That's great, but not what I'm looking for right now. Yeah, it won't let me pull up my, my stuff, but I'll try going for young goose here. Come on, and I might, if it's level two again, I might just throw a Pokeball right away. It is, so. Let's throw a Pokeball, we have 13 of these, so if you miss this one, no big deal. But with it being so low level, sometimes you can just catch them by tossing a Pokeball at them at full health, and that's the case this time, we catch Young Goose. Which as you can see, we get some experience for everybody, but more than that, we'll have Young Goose added to our Pokedex right here. Young Goose has been added to our Pokedex, it is a loitering Pokemon normal type. It spends its waking hours searching endlessly for food. When Young Goose is hungry, its ferocity gains a certain edge. Interesting, so we're just going to go ahead and send you into a box for now, but that was a pretty cool catch, right? And, whoa, there it is added to our Pokedex. So let's keep trying to follow you for now. Whoa, there's a, there's a, a Diglett, okay. I wanna catch whatever new Pokemon we can find, so if we have a Diglett here, what level will you be? You are level three. So let's go ahead and just toss a Pokeball again and see how this works for us. We can always return to this cave, I can only imagine. So maybe we should focus on that a little bit too. But there we go, another Pokemon caught. I can't complain about that, that's for sure. So let's see, Diglett will be registered to our Pokedex here in just a moment. We also get some Diglett dirt. So is there really an item for every single Pokemon in this game? All right, it's registered. It is a mole Pokemon, ground type. Its skin is very thin. If it is exposed to light, its blood heats up, causing it to grow weak. Huh, good to know. So we'll put Diglett in our box for now. Maybe we will evolve that later, we'll have to wait and see. But for right now, it is number 148 in our Pokedex. It's pretty cool. I do see another uh, young goose over that way, which I don't need much of. So we're just gonna leave that there and Anything down that way? Oh, there might be actually, hold on. You wait there, I'm gonna go grab a Pokeball with something inside it. I'm sure it's going to have two Pokeballs. Okay, two for the the, the sight of one, I guess. <laughs> there we go. Can I climb up here? Not really. So it can jump down more easily than I can get up. Because I don't know how much this borrows from, whoa. Oh no, 
We got more than the Hound Dooms. Stampeding in here, this is a problem. They are not happy, but neither are they. Scared them all off, wow, that was great. Very impressive. But yeah, I don't know how much this takes after, you know, Pokemon Legends Arceus, which had a lot of free roaming exploring like this. Hey, heads up, some pretty rough and rowdy Houndor are coming up ahead. Okay, so what's in this Pokeball? We get a revive. Those are really nice to be able to build up already. So happy about that. So if there's not anything, okay, there's an invisible wall there. So I guess I just gotta get this side. Gonna keep following you. Only one way to go, really. I love the tail too, the little sort of electricity at the end of it too, very cool. Oh, okay, gonna bust through that, no problem. Wow. So where are those Houndor? Probably somewhere around here. Oh my gosh, it straight up pulverized that rock. How powerful even is it? I wonder what that move was. I'm not sure. Zebra, look out, something's coming. Uh-oh. What could it be now? Behind you, it's behind you. It's the fully evolved Houndoom that we saw before. Uh-oh. Ooh, this is not good. Well, let's announce Sprigatito and we'll do everything we can. The problem is, but Sprigatito's a bit beat up, so now's maybe the best time. It's level 40, can we just run? There's no way you could run from this opponent. All right, um, no, I didn't want to do it again. <laughs> Even though I think running would probably be best with this kind of level disparity, let's switch out to a different Pokemon really quickly. You can't find an opening to swap Pokemon. I just have to go for it. All right, all right, all right. Let's go and uh, just battle. And no, hope for the best, they're using Crunch. We don't even get to attack yet. Oh no. What are we going to do? We're like hopelessly outmatched. What was that? Help me out here, buddy. Come on, I gave you a sandwich earlier. Here we go. Wow. Yes, stay back. Oh no, here comes the herd. <laughs> Not our herd though. Whoa, what was that? This is not looking good. Whoa! All right, we're just getting scooped up. Hey! Up here, quick! Wow, no problem. That was pretty impressive. So whatever this thing is, it just saved the day again. Way to go, for a second, I thought you were both goners. And we're there, we made it. Awesome. Wh what's happening? Oh no, it fell to the ground again. Whoa, what's wrong? Maybe that was at the last of its energy. Maybe it used up all of its power? What is this Pokemon anyway? It kind of looks like a Cis Cyclozar, but I've never seen one quite like this before. And now it looks so different from a minute ago. You think it's okay? I don't know. You can't tell either, huh, Zebra? Well. All that aside, I am seriously glad to have you back up here in one piece. You know, that battle down there was really something. You and this fellow looked perfectly in sync facing down that Houndoom. What? You didn't even tell it what to do? I guess it's not like you're, you're this Pokemon's trainer yet, huh? I guess not. Is that even possible? Oh good, looks like it's perked up a little. Do you think this fellow was the, the one making the mysterious cry we heard before? I think it has to be. Oh man, oh man, oh man. The, the more I look at this Pokemon, the more mysterious it seems. If you do become his trainer, you gotta let me battle against it. Let's exchange his numbers so we can get in touch if somehow we get separated again. Sure. Oh wow, so we're just very quickly exchanging some numbers. And here. This will let you teach your Pokemon a move 
to help it battle stronger opponents. You tamed TM-032 Swift. Interesting. Star-shaped rays are shot at opposing Pokemon. This attack never misses. Think before you use it though, TMs can only be used once. You've both been through enough for a minute. I think we better take a breather. Let's just get to the lighthouse. That'll be a good spot to relax. Okay, well, let's join up with a little buddy here. Head to the lighthouse. Will do. So that will be, of course, straight ahead of us, right over this way. Reach the lighthouse, you can see towering above Paco Path. You've both been through enough for a minute. Okay, yep, so we know all about that. And these Pokemon down here, I'm pretty sure we've caught the most of these, maybe not you? No, no, I have, I have, actually. Yeah, right? Did we catch you last episode? We definitely did. So I might not have to worry about this one too much. This is Scatterbug. Does it tell me anywhere? Yeah, right next to its uh, gender marker, it has the uh, Pokemon next to it, meaning that we've already caught it. So we'll just run from this one. Didn't really mean to do that. So right now I'm only interested in finding Pokemon I haven't caught, you know? But, oh, there's somebody at the window. Who's that? Very mysterious. Why that little? What are you doing out here? Oh wait, do they know them? I think so. I'm not talking to you two, you can shove off. Wait, I know you, aren't you Arvin? You're enrolled in the humanities track, right? And aren't you the son of that Pokemon researcher, Professor Turo? Doesn't matter who my dad is. The real issue here is what in the world that this Pokemon is doing out here. And what is it with this form it's in? Uh, it saved me from a tight spot. See, we heard this strange cry and we tried to investigate, but Zebra fell off a cliff. That Pokemon saved him, but it seems like it wore itself out in the process. It got kinda slumpy afterwards. But you should have seen it before. It looked totally different. It was unbelievably strong. Well, yeah, as it should be, but it can't fight while it's like this. The form Miraidon takes in battle that's its true form. Maridon. Maridon? Is that this Pokemon's name? How'd you know it? Something with this building. You can't go in the lab, it's locked. I don't remember ever seeing you around, but given the uniform, you go to the academy too, do you? Maridon isn't the sort of Pokemon that any old trainer can hope to command. It's special. Special how? What sort of Pokemon is it? You think you're up to ordering Maridon around? Then how about I test your worthiness? Uh, sure. Heh, <laughs> well look at you, quite the little go-getter. I've been feeling all out of sorts, so I'm gonna use this battle to blast these doldrums away. I like their hair though, looking good. So I guess we're heading into a battle. This is Trainer Arvin. And they're sending out Squovit to start things off. Oh, is my Sprigatito still low on health? I didn't even think about that. So let's start this battle off and see what's happening. These memories are leaving a bad taste in my mouth and I want it gone. What bad memories? Oh no, it looks like our health was restored. So that's good. So we have a couple levels of lead in front of Squovit. And I think I'll use Bite to start things off. Not too bad, we do about half of their health and they flinch so they couldn't move. Let's go ahead and just try to hit another one straight away because I think this is gonna have the most power out of all of our moves without a typing advantage. So let's go for it, we'll use another bite and that's almost enough. This time they won't flinch and they'll bite right back. So will, will we flinch? I guess not, let's use a scratch really quickly and see if that finishes you off. It does, no problem. All right then, so their first Pokemon is defeated but what else might they have here? And there we go, you defeated Pokemon Trader Arvin. That's all they have. <laughs> okay, cool. But I'm not too happy about it. Seems you know a thing or two about battle. So we arrived at our destination, we got 300 in prize money. Not too bad. All right, well, with that all settled. Wow, Zebra, that was awesome. I guess I wasn't ever gonna stand a chance using some Pokemon I'd only just caught. 
But if you really think you can take Maridon off my hands for me, you'll need this. It's the Pokeball that Brute's been kept in. You obtained Maridon's Pokeball. All right then, so we'll just put that in our key item's pocket. Maridon's Pokeball, a Pokeball that can hold the mysterious Pokemon known as Maridon. A boy named Arvin gave it to you. So why do you have it? Anyway, that thing's your problem now, not mine. Good luck. What? Oi, you, can you not hear me or something? I guess not. Fine, be that way, but you better actually show up for school. What a weirdo. All right then, so I guess we technically have Maridon caught. I don't know if that technically counts as a Pokemon we can use in battle. That Arvin guy definitely knows more than he's letting on. Next time, he and I are battling. I'm gonna ring some answers out of him. But, oh, right, we gotta climb the lighthouse. Can't wait to show you the view of our school. That sounds like a lot of fun. So I guess we're climbing the lighthouse next. Right up that way. So, we take a look, climb up to the top of the lighthouse, right up there. So, follow Nimona to the top of the lighthouse. We'll do that in just a moment. I do wanna take a look around the lighthouse and see if there's any extra collectibles. I we can enjoy a bit more of a view, so that's exciting, but what about over here? We have this one. It is another revive. I'm really happy that we're finding some typically more expensive items in either Pokemon games. Oh, hi, I didn't even see you there, so I guess I'm fighting you now. I guess we could go for maybe some extra experience, you know? Um, this is effective enough. I can just bite you real quick. Boom, not quite enough for a one hit takedown. They're gonna use String Shot against us. I'm not too worried about it. We'll just go ahead and hit you with another bite, just like that. And, oh, they're using Tackle, they attack twice. That's fine, we'll just bite. There we go, got it. So, Scatterbug fainted, and as you can see, some experience is rolling in. I think we got some level ups. Fletchling learned Quick Attack, which is always nice, and Tarantula learned Struggle Bug. So yeah, some really cool stuff there. Uh, we're not gonna worry about too much more for now. I want to, oh, look at these guys, I'll just snoozing around here. A lot of Pokemon we've already seen now. Is this door locked? The door's locked, yeah. They couldn't get into there before, so I wasn't figuring that I could either, but is there anything new back here? Doesn't look like it. So, okay, let's just focus on the lighthouse then. I just try to make sure I'm exploring as much as we can, because there's so many different places to go. Making the most out of each one is probably going to be pretty important. The South Province, Area 1. Oh, we're way up here now, this is so cool. Hi, Nimona. Look, Zebra, that's Mezagoa. Whoa. It's quite the castle, and that huge building with the Pokeball on it is our school. It's gonna be so great having you in the same class, Zebra. I'm looking forward to it. Right? I can't wait to get back. We're gonna get to learn so much and battle so, so, so much. Isn't it awesome what you can see from up here? Mountains, forests, grasslands, beautiful nature stuff as far as the eye can see. It really does look like a lot that we can explore. And you know what's waiting for you all over the, these natural spaces? Tons of Pokemon. Consider this me officially telling you, welcome to Paldea. Thank you for the welcome. But anyway, like you can see, it's kind of a hike to get to school from here. It definitely is. Let's make it to Los Platos for starters. That's right on the way. Vamos, come on. Well, after you, we'll be right behind you, sort of. If I get distracted by Pokemon, you know, that happens. We're heading to Los Platos, so let's see where that is. Way over here. Make your way to Lost Plato's. I'll try to check those out just to see if they say anything interesting, but I guess our first little town to take a look at, this is gonna be great. So, gotta continue back down Poco Path. Lots of little Pokemon running around, but if it's not anything new, I might not mess with it too much. But we do get a Cherry Berry, and we're in Tr the South Province, Area 1. And it looks like there's somebody. Hey, let's battle. Ooh, so we can battle you. If you talk to a Pokemon trainer like me, it means we're gonna battle. All right then, let's go for it. So our first sort of random trainer battle, you were challenged by Youngster El Elian? Elian? Not sure, Elian. And they're sending a Tarantula, which we've seen before. 
We have Sprigatito out here to begin with, so let's see what we can handle. I think for right now, we definitely want to do Bite. As you can see, once we use some of these moves against Pokemon of that type or that specific Pokemon, we can actually see whether it's effective or not effective. We don't have to memorize it for every single scenario once we do it once, so that's always good. But anyways, we'll do one Bite in the Tarantula there, and they're going to use Struggle Bug, which definitely does some damage. It's super effective. A little concerning, but we're gonna keep going. Let's do one more bite, and I think that'll get rid of Tarantula and should finish this battle because this trainer only has one Pokemon, which you can see on the top right, because I only had one Pokeball next to their name. But as you can see, lots of experience for all of our little friends here, and it looks like Hopip is gonna get a level up and learn Absorb. And we defeated Youngster or Lion. They're not so happy about it. Your Pokemon are strong, huh? We get some prize money for that to you. Whenever we battle a trainer and we win, we get prize money. But if we lose, we also have to give them some. Here in Paldea, you gotta talk to Pokemon to a Pokemon trainer to challenge him. We can't tell if you want to battle just by making eye contact. See, I guess that's a bit of a difference between the other mainline Pokemon games, is that we can't really just do that typical eye contact thing. The Chesto Berry was what we got there. Pretty cool. I'm not seeing anything new out of these groups of Pokemon, so. I'm gonna keep moving forward. If I start seeing some new stuff, like is this Weasel? I think it might be. Oh, that's so exciting. Oh no, no, it's not. Never mind. It's, it's a new Pokemon though, for sure. So what is this? Did that work? Uh, it took a second. Palmy. Oh, so cute. This is definitely a new type of Pokemon. Um, let's go ahead and just. I'll try to do a bit of battling here. We'll do a scratch to start things off. Nothing super damaging. We'll see how low we can get it. Halfway there. That's already pretty good and they were caught off guard so they can't move. Well, let's throw a Pokeball and see what happens. The music's getting pretty funky too. I like it. And it looks like we got it. A brand new Pokemon was caught, Palmy. So let's definitely read the Pokedex entry for this one after we get some experience for everybody. Very nice. So, Palmy is a mouse Pokemon Electric type, that's great. The pads off of its paws are electricity discharging organs. Palmy fires electricity from its forepaws while standing unsteadily on its hind legs. That sounds great, so we might want to just keep you in our uh, team for sure. So let's add you to the party, and if we take a look at what's available, I'm thinking we'll swap out Hoppet. That's also a grass type. We just don't really need it in our party right now with Sprigatito, so let's go ahead and switch out Hoppet for Palmy. And hey, if we ever need it, we can re-add Hop Hop up to our team. It's never gonna be too complicated. I see some old familiars over there, some Psyduck. That's cool. But this is where we could very easily get carried away and just try to catch Pokemon um, all day long. <laughs> but uh, you know, maybe we can soon. Awakening is a spray type medicine to wake the sleeping effect, which is good. And we also got the Person Berry. Uh, they'll be able to cure themselves of confusion with that. And oh, here's a new one. Let's go ahead and capture you. What is this? This is so adorable. I don't know if I've seen you before. This is a deer lane. So let's go ahead and just do something normal, like a bite. Well, I guess not normal typing, but normal attack we've been using. That didn't do too much, but it did make them flinch. So maybe we can keep at it. Maybe we could try Leaf Age here. But they have Sap Slipper, so their attack rose. And now they're gonna use Tackle. So I guess we can't use Grass type moves against them. Let's try Bite again. Oh, not too bad. I don't know what's gonna happen here with, oh no, Sprigatito faints. That's not good. So yeah, if your Pokemon runs out of HP, they will faint and we'll have to restore it sometime later. But for now, let's just choose our next Pokemon, which right now, we could try out. I mean, Palmy's a bit beat up, so let's try Lechonk. I've been enjoying Lechonk a lot. We'll see what kind of moves it has here. And it's so cute. It's just, I can't believe we have a shiny Pokemon. This has never happened to me in any of my mainline Pokemon adventures. As you can see with them, they have a disarming voice, which is a fairy type move. Letting out a charming cry, This the user does emotional damage to the opposing Pokemon. This attack never misses. That's cool and everything, but I think for right now, we're just gonna throw out a Pokeball and see if we can't catch it. The Deerling. All right, come on. And there we have it. Another Pokemon added to our Pokedex. Deerling. So we'll see a little bit more about this dear little Deerling. And we get level seven for a couple of the Pokemon and another level for Scatterbug. Uh, Scatterbug learned Stun Sport, which is nice. Okay, so Deerling is a seasoned Pokemon, a normal grass type. 
in the spring form. Despite Deerling's adorable appearance, farmers consider it a nuisance since it loves plant shoots and will eat them all up. I definitely agree that it is adorable, but with it being a grass type, we just don't really need it too much in our party right now. So we're gonna send that back to our box. And I'm sure if we do want to enhance our Pokedex, we'll be getting some of these back out later on. But, uh, oh, hello, is this a Marill? Whoa, I definitely want a Marill on our team, at least for now, that'd be great. Okay then, so yeah, let's definitely get the Azuril. You know, Azuril, Marill, they're all, you know, they're here. Okay, so it is a level four. I might be able to do a quick attack just to lower its health a little bit. I don't wanna go too crazy here. Okay, that's perfect. Um, it's gonna use Splash on our Fletchling here, which isn't too big of a deal. Nothing actually happened, so that's good. Let's go ahead and throw a Pokeball. And let's see if we can catch this Azuril. But right now my goal, I don't know if I, you know all the Pokemon I'm catching right now will be mainstays on our team. I'm still deciding as we go along which Pokemon we want to keep and which Pokemons we might want to exchange. But my big goal is just to get a variety of typings so that we can have a good team against whatever challenges get thrown our way. But for right now it's Azuril. The Polkadot Pokemon is a normal fairy type. I think this evolves in the water though. It's a its tail is packed full of nutrients it needs to grow. So we'll keep this one for now but I, I don't know, I'm pretty sure it does evolve into something water type. So add your party. And this time, what do I wanna switch out? I think I will switch out, hmm, hard to say. I think Scatterbug, because we have Tarantula here, you know? Um, let's try switching out like that and see what ends up happening. Pretty cool little Pokedex entry there. And let's take an extra look around. So right now I'm seeing some familiar Pokemon that we've already caught. So let's go and grab this Pokeball. And that's gonna be another potion, which I definitely wish I could have used that on um, Sprigatito before it was too late, but we have Auto Heal. The Auto Heal feature will automatically select items from your bag and use them to heal your Pokemon. To use Auto Heal, highlight the Pokemon you want to heal from the main menu and press the minus button. Auto Heal will use up items in the following order. Potion, Fresh Waters, Soda Pops, Super Potions, Lemonades, Mooma Milks, and Hyper Potions. Interesting. Okay, good to know. Right now I don't need to Auto Heal really any of them too much, but we'll just keep it like that and take a look at what's going on back on the main path. I got a bit distracted there, but I might go for the Psyduck. I might wait. Um, got my Pokemon all healed up. Oh, I think they want a battle. Oh, and are these Wigglytuffs? Wow, we're finding some interesting Pokemon right now. I like it. So, let's try this. I'm pretty sure this is Weekly Tough. I might be wrong. Igly Buff. All right, come on. You can't blame me for getting that mix up. It's all pretty similar. Let's try a Peck really quickly. Watch them use Peck. That's not too bad. And they're gonna use Pound. Ouch. So let's just do one more Peck. And that should get you in the yellow. That should be good enough for us to, um, what's it called? Uh, toss out a Pokeball and try to catch it. So let's try it out. Let's see, can we catch the Iggly Buff? Is it, I think the name was. I guess so, there we go, Iggly Buff was caught. Very nice. And as you can see with this one, we definitely need to revive Sprigatito if we're gonna do any more because it's missing out on experience, but we do learn Quick Attack for Palmy. And we should be getting some Pokedex entry information for Iglybuff. It is a balloon Pokemon, normal fairy type. It likes to sing, but is not yet good at it. With praise and encouragement, it will get better little by little. Very nice. So I think for right now, we're gonna send Iglybuff to our box, but as you can see, it's so cute. Oh my gosh. Lots of interesting Pokemon being added. So let's go ahead and wait for a second. We'll go to our bag. And you can see we have revives, a medicine that can be used to revive a Pokemon that was fainted. It also restores half of their HP. We're gonna use that on Sprigatito really quickly. And then, you know, typically I would just use the auto, but I'll, I'll do this really quickly. And that should get us back at the, the full, full health. And let's battle this trainer over here and see what happens. All right then, if you can beat me, I'll tell you a cool secret. So I wonder what that'll be, Psyduck is sort of feeling a little awkward here. Okay, he's gonna leave. You're challenged by Zahira, the student. All right, well, let's see what you got. You're setting out LeChonk here to start things off. Pretty familiar with that. Okay, let's go for it then. We're gonna battle, and I guess I'll just do uh, Leafage for now, because it's normally effective. So we already have quite the level lead on you. You're level five or level nine, and they're gonna try tackling, which does some damage, nothing to be too worried about. I think doing another Leafage, Leaf Age, whatever it is, should be enough to take you down. And do you have any more Pokemon than that? 
I don't think so. There we go. He defeated the hero, the student, and got three level ups out of this. So that was very worth it. Oh, I, I've lost, even though my Pokemon had full HP. Well, we get some prize money for that, so that's good. Here's the secret. Pokemon centers will heal your Pokemon for free. What do you mean you already knew that? <laughs> All right, well, I'm glad to you know get that information confirmed, I suppose. Here's another um, Azuril. I think it's Azuril, Marill, and then Azamarill is how it is. Pokeball right there, and what do we have here? This is new to me. I don't think I've ever seen this one before. This is a little puppy, so cute. A Fido. <laughs> All right, I like this one already. Let's go ahead and give you a bite. Okay, well, that's not very effective, so I wonder what typing it is then. It's gonna use Tail Whip against us, and if Bite didn't work so well, then I'm guessing that Leafage will. Okay, we can do that one more time, and that should be enough to, you know, definitely throw a Pokeball and catch you, I think. So come on, come on. Another Leafage, Leafage. I don't know which one to call it. We can use Lick, ugh. All right, throw that Pokeball, and let's see what we get with this one. Will we get the catch? So far, we have not failed a single time with our first throw, and it won't stop here. We get Fido. Okay then, so let's take a look at this. We get some extra experience rolling in level 10 for Sprigatito, and Sprigatito wants to learn to move Hone Claws. Should another move be forgotten and replaced with Hone Claws? Sure. So let's take a look at this move first. Hone Claws is done this way in a dark type move. The user sharpens the claws to boost its attack, stat, and accuracy. This can be really helpful, and maybe better than Tail Whip? The user wags its tail cutely, making opposing Pokemon less wary, that lowers the defensive stats, or maybe we should just put it over Scratch, because plenty of our other Pokemon have some normal type attack moves. Do we really need it on Sprigatito? I can ask it for advice? What does it say? It looks like Sprigatito wouldn't mind skipping over learning Hone Claws for now. But why, you know? Um, I think I will learn Scratch, but it is interesting that it will, I mean, learn this over Scratch, but it's interesting that I'll give that feedback. I like that, for sure. Um, so we forgot Scratch and learned Hone Claws for now. We'll see if we end up using that later, but for right now, we have a Pokedex entry to worry about. Fido is a puppy Pokemon fairy type. The yeast in Fido's breath is useful for cooking, so this Pokemon has been protected by people since long ago. Interesting. A fairy type purely through here. So, you know what? Let's go ahead and add you to the team for now, I think. It is going to get hard to decide which ones I want to keep and which ones I want to drop for right now. I mean, you are normal fairy as well, so ah, if I can make it a new Pokemon, though, that's always a good choice. So we'll try this. Fido will be added as a rule, will be added to our boxes. We can always make adjustments later on, but their ears are little donuts, I think. Or at least like little bundles of bread, something like that, so cool. There's a whole horde of Pokemon behind me, but we're not gonna worry about that for right now. I wanna grab these two Pokeballs that have been staring at me from the distance. We have a Pokeball. The more of these I can get, the better. And over this way, another Pokeball. So let's see, anything new popping up to me? Ooh, there is! I know I've been taking a lot of time finding Pokemon, but this is what the game's all about, isn't it? <laughs> let's take a look at this one then. This is Ross. Very cool. So we'll take on Rots a little bit here. First, we're just gonna start with a bite. And that was pretty good. They're gonna use double team now, which might do a little bit of damage. No, that raises stats. It's gonna raise our base in this, which might lower our chances of actually landing this Pokeball throw. I guess we'll see in just a moment. As we toss it right at them. Okay, so. We got it, Ralts is caught. And that evolves, of course, into Gardevoir, pretty popular and strong Pokemon. So we could always consider that. But for right now, things are looking really nice. Um, Ralts Dust, pretty cool. Um, Ralts, the feeling Pokemon, a psychic fairy type. A lot of fairy types around here. It is highly attuned to the emotions of people and Pokemon. It hides if it senses hostility. Gotcha, so we'll just keep Ralts in a box for now, but definitely worth considering for a psychic type Pokemon. Gonna put that in our registration. And we already, of course, have some Fletchlings, but it's nice to see a little group of them there. I don't see too much else going on in this tall grass section, so I think we're finally good to actually move to the town over here. We have lots going on. Plenty of people to see. This is Los Platos. And look at this, this is where we can heal all of our Pokemon at. Oi, Zebra, over here! Hi there. This here is a Pokemon Center. 
you can come here to take care of a lot of things related to your Pokemon. But I'll leave the explanations to the pros here. Hi, happy to be of service, and welcome to the Pokemon Center. I'm here to keep everyone's Pokemon healthy. Here on my left is the Pokemon counter. You can buy things like Pokeballs and potions. Hello, we accept the payment in both cash and LP, league points. That is, one LP is worth one dollar. And this to my right is the technical machine, machine, TM machine for short. If it's your ticket to making TMs, which you can use to teach moves to your Pokemon. You'll need to pay an LP and supply the machine with materials that Pokemon drop, which you've seen a little bit of. LP comes in handy both at these machines and at stores. I've got a lot. Here, have some. Well, thank you very much. Very kind of you, Nimona. We had 5,000 of them, wow. Oh yeah, and some of these too. You receive lots of Pokemon materials from Nimona. And at the Union Circle, you can connect with other trainers to find yourself some adventuring companions. Come visit us at the Pokemon Center anytime you need any help. We will, thanks. Remember, have had a rough adventure? Get to the Pokemon Center. Sometimes you have to know this sort of stuff for quizzes at school, but mnemonics help out. Here's another one. Are you ready? Then let's go. Goofy, sure, but it helps you remember you can send your lead Pokemon out with the R button. That way, you can have the Pokemon that's walking with you go pick up items lying around, or go battle on its own, or other stuff like that. Interesting, let's go. Pressing the R button is a quick way to, to tell your lead Pokemon, all right, buddy, let's go. Once you give the go-ahead, your Pokemon will set out on its own to battle nearby Pokemon or pick up items it finds in the area. When your Pokemon is low on energy, which happens when its HP is low, it won't be able to go exploring on its own. So if your Pokemon gets weak, try to heal it up with a potion or some other item. When your potion starts, or when your Pokemon starts a battle while exploring on its own, you won't need to give it any orders. It can battle on its own with auto battles, meaning that you can keep searching the area for new discoveries while watching over it from nearby. Auto battles will be decided by the strength and types of the Pokemon taking part in the battle. So keep that in mind when you're choosing which of your Pokemon to send out on its own. Interesting, so that's new, auto battles. So we have to head to the Mesagosa, which is still way up here, right? Way up here. The city of Mesagosa. Reach the city of Mesagosa and the new school that awaits you there. I would love to. Now, time to go. Once we leave Los Platos, we'll hit the best known spot in the South Province's Area 1, the massive hill on the way to school. You'll usually find trainers there who are just itching the battle. Good luck. All right then, so we'll do a little bit of that, but also talk to some other people. A great spot. The Pokemon Center is a great meetup spot when you're getting together with friends. I definitely agree. So let's go ahead and heal up for now. Hello and welcome to the Pokemon Center. Are your Pokemon tired and in need of rest? I'd like to heal my Pokemon. Then we'll need your Pokemon for a few seconds. All right then, so they're all gonna get healed up, which is nice and great for us. Sprigatito and the rest of your team should be all better now. Oh, and by the way, did you know? When you're feeling lost, when you don't know where to go next, you can ask for help at any Pokemon Center. The staff there can give you tips about where you might want to try. Plus, they'll register their suggested destinations on your Rotom phone for you. Or did you already know that? Well, I do hope my little tidbits come in handy. Come back and see us again whenever you need. That's awesome. So what else can we do here? Uh, you can register my birthday? Maybe I'll do that later. That's pretty cool. Uh, and then let's talk to you and see if there's anything we could buy. The Pokemart, can I help you with something? I'd like to buy. So we have things like potions, Pokeballs, and then a whole bunch of healing and, you know, evening things. You also have Polka Dolls, a doll that attracts the attention of a Pokemon. It guarantees escape from any battle with wild Pokemon. So that might be good to do, but I think for right now, the thing I mostly want to focus on is just making sure we're well stocked on Pokeballs because we're using so many. So let's buy an additional 10 of them right there. That sounds good. So we have two currencies now. We have the Polka Dollars and LP. So we'll have to make the most of buying both of those. But for right now, we're using both to buy things. I'm good. We're gonna head out of here and explore more of uh, Los Platos for today's episode. Uh, over here, we have some people to talk to, like you. Welcome. This is Los Platos. We're always happy to serve up a helping of hospitality to anyone passing by. 
Thank you very much. Happy to be here. Wish I had a Pokemon. Like LeChonk? <laughs> yeah, LeChonk's a good one to have. I think they're eating something. Hi! We talk to you? Ah, I'm all topped up. That's good. I don't, is that coffee? Might be a little too young for coffee. Mm, I want one. Our desserts will melt your heart. Would you like some delicious, refreshing ice cream? I can't say no to that. Ooh, and there's a whole selection. We have mint chocolate ice cream. The mint flavor is strong, and the chocolate is bitter. A distinct contrast that helps you keep coming back for more. Huh. So with these, they give us different powers. Raid power, fairy. Humongo power, steel, and egg power. I don't know exactly what most of that means, so maybe we'll save these for later, but I'm sure the game will explain to us at some point or another. In the meantime, there are some buildings and stuff over here to check out. Hello, my paralyzed heals. My paralyzed heals were delivered. Oh, lovely. Just what you need to help a paralyzed Pokemon. That's cool. Can we go inside? I guess not. But I do have you over here, and this is the, I think, the Pal Paldean version of Taurus. Very cool. The first one out. Oh, I think I talked to the wrong one. Hi. Very cool looking. I cannot move. Uh, was that it? <laughs> Am I doing something wrong? I like actually cannot move. Okay, so I had to reload the game, but luckily it saved when I healed up the Pokemon. So let's try talking to you again. The Pokemon at the head of your party will always be the first one sent out in battle. That is true. Let's go ahead and grab whatever's waiting for us over this way, then. We have an antidote. Awesome. I don't really see too much else happening over this way. Well, actually, maybe there is. We don't want to get too distracted with things out this way, though. I'm sure we'll be able to explore more of it soon. So, back to Los Platos. Just want to talk to a few more of the, the villagers here. We got you two over here. Oh, me? I go to school every day and learn lots and lots about Pokemon and things. Like, did you already know that every Pokemon can remember up to four moves at a time? I did. Academy students who live here in Los Platos don't bother with the dorms. We come to school every day directly from home. Though the hill does make it pretty tough. Interesting. Oh, can we battle these guys in the little lake here? Maybe not because it's in the town. Let's find out. Whoa, uh, you managed to scramble back out of the water. That's not what I meant. So I can't go into the water just yet. Good to know. Uh, I, okay, whoa. That's so cute, not a little floaty. Come on, throw you out there, maybe? I can't really aim it, so I guess that has to wait until later. So I had talked to somebody before, but I guess I just sort of move around. My girl's so good at math, you know. Oh, for mine, it's battle studies. So I, I can't really go into the buildings in this game, which is different, very interesting. But let's just head up this way and keep trying to make our way to Mesagosa. Hi. The school, is it? Off the school now, dear? Careful on the road, and remember to jot things down so you won't forget what you've accomplished. I definitely need to save, because I don't want the game to freeze again, so I might do that here in a moment. Uh, I just don't know what's the best way to do that. It's gotta be this button, maybe? And I think it's, uh, nope, not that one. <laughs> I need to figure out how to save. Profile, and then maybe here? Okay, I found out how to save. It was just right there to the right, but ooh, we're making our way up this hill. I have a Pokeball there, an antidote. And like I said, we'll, we'll, we'll toss our Pokeball at some of these guys if there's any new ones. But if there's not, I'm not gonna be too worried about it, but we do have some trainers along the path, like you. I bought everything I need. I'm all set. So did I, though, so you better be ready. Perfect timing. You wanted to challenge me to a Pokemon battle, right? I did. So. This is Carlota, the student. They are sending out Boon Sweet, which I think we can handle. Sprigatito is definitely gonna give it a try. So, Boon Sweet, level five, let's go for a bite to start things off. And that's not so bad. It flinched and it couldn't move, so we should be able to finish it off with a very simple, another bite, right here. Got it, awesome. So with Boon Sweet fainted, do you have any other Pokemon to throw out I didn't see before? I guess not, we defeated Carlota, the student. Oof, I stepped up and got smacked down. No worries though, you gave it a good effort. Hello. Guess I better heal my Pokemon. Good thing I bought these potions at the Pokemart. Definitely good. So what else is going on around here? It looks like 
I'm not seeing any Pokemon waiting for us here. I do see one more Pokeball, which every time I see one, I wanna go for it. So let's try this out. I'll grab that there. And that is a potion for us, very cool. And then over this way, though, there's actually two of them. Well, don't mind if I do then. I'll grab that. That is gonna be a burn heal spray type medicine that, of course, treats burns. And oh, a Squobit! I definitely wanna get a Squobit where I have the chance. Oh, it's gonna be the auto battle. That's not really what I wanted, but that's okay. Uh, so I guess I just have to walk in them manually now if I wanna battle them. Okay, well, we got another Pokeball there. And I wanna take you on. Oh, and there's a Studo Wudo over that way. There's a lot going on here. So. We have Surskit over this way. Um, I'm going to just go do a Leaf Age and hope it won't be a one-hit takedown. I don't think so, because there's only a two-level difference. That was pretty good, though. They're gonna use Water Gun back at Sprigatito. Not doing enough, so we're just gonna go ahead and throw our Pokeball, see if we can count or catch Surskit here. That'd be amazing. Come on. Yes, we can. All right, then, so Surskit was caught, and that is definitely a Water-type Pokemon of some sort. I want to get level seven for one of our Pokemon there, the uh, whatever it was. Um, and one of them learned Echo Voice. So Surskit is a pond skater Pokemon, bug water type. It secretes a thick, sweet scented syrup from the tip of its head. It lives on weed choked ponds. Huh, very cool. So that is definitely a water type. I think once again, I'll consider putting it in our team. Surskit is super cute. I don't think it's a brand new Pokemon with this game, but should we go for Pseudo Wudo or whatever the, this form is? Let's just, yeah, once again, just running in, in, into you instead of throwing our Pokeball at you. This is a Bonsai, which of course evolves into uh, Pseudo Wudo. We don't want to use Grass, I think it's a ground type technically. Yeah, we're just gonna chomp into that uh, like that. Use fake tears, oh no. Our special defense has harshly fallen from that. I'm just gonna bite you again and hope for a flinch. Nice, come on, it flinched. Okay, so let's go for one more bite here. I don't think it'll defeat it. It'll get it very low out. Yes, perfect, that's exactly what we wanna see. It's gonna use fake tears again, which our special defense getting low isn't too much of a trouble if they're not gonna attack us in time. So let's go throw out one of these. And as you can see, will we catch it? Yes, we will. We have caught Bonsly. Very cool. So, that is level 11 for Spigatito and level eight for Fido. Fido wants to learn to move Covey. Or Covet, I'm not really sure. Um, let's see Covet really quickly. Um, Covet down this way is a normal type move. The user endearingly approaches the target, then steals the target's held item. And if we ask them for advice, what will they say? Fido wants to forget Tail Whip and learn Covet. Uh, sure, you know what, go for it. We don't really need Tail Whip too much. But there we go, ta-da! Fido forgot Tail Whip and learned Covet instead. So with that done, as you can see, Bonsai is added to our Pokedex. It is a Bonsai Pokemon rock type. From its eyes, it can expel excess moisture from its body. This liquid is similar in composition to human sweat. Okay, I don't know if I need to know that, but interesting. Um, for right now, we're just gonna send it to our boxes and keep things going, but ah, oh, that is a cool picture of a Bonsai just chilling on the rock there. That's fun. There's somebody behind us. No, no, I guess it was just for Gatito. All right then, so back on our adventure, I see the very tippity top of this hill. Well, not tippity top, but we got a Pokeball and it's an ether, a medicine that can be used to restore PP or power points. Every time we use a move, it's using power points, so you get the idea. Um, we'll be able to restore the abilities of our moves. So I'm not seeing too much more here. I think we're good to take on this trainer. What a cool Pokemon. Let me show you how this awesome looking Pokemon I, I just caught. All right then, this is Youngster Luca. And they are sending out Chewtool, which I think was new in Sword and Shield, right? I think so. Anyways, let's go ahead and battle. And if it is a water type, then we should be good with just using Leafage, Leafage, and doing a lot of damage to it. That is fantastic. And, oh, there's a Pichu over there. I thought it was for a second that they threw it up. There we go. Whoa, awesome. I guess it, it just looking cool doesn't cut it. All right, well, I definitely wanna catch Pichu really quickly. Give me a second though and talk to you. 
Uh, I call my cheetle pretty close to a pond. Maybe water types like hanging out near water. I'd imagine so. But let's go ahead and try to catch you. It's Pichu. This would be a huge catch so early on in the game, right? All right then, so let's go ahead with a normal battle. A bite should be enough to get your health a lot lower. And whoa, that was close. But they have static, paralyzing Sprigatito. So it may be unable to move at times. They're gonna use Thundershock now, which doesn't do very much. But this is a fantastic spot to be in in terms of their health. We'll just throw this Pokemon and hope that we catch Pichu. Because obviously this would evolve into Pikachu and eventually Raichu, which would be amazing. Well, there we go. We caught Pichu. That is so exciting. And we should be getting extra experience for our Pokemon. Enough for Tarantula, or Tarantula to get level seven. And let's see Pichu here, the tiny mouse Pokemon electric type. Despite this Pokemon's cute appearance, those who want to live with one should prepare to be the one on the receiving end of its electric jolts. All right, very cool. Should I have it in my party? I mean, we already have the, that's sort of the thing, right? I already have an electric type and it's a brand new Pokemon to this game. And I think that's always one of my big focuses is checking out and enjoying the new Pokemon with each new release. So I think we'll keep with Palmy for now. But if you ever need a backup, Pichu is a great choice. And we'll eventually be evolving those Pokemon so that we can, of course, get our Pokedex completed. So I'm sure that we'll see them again soon enough. But for right now, another Pokedex or Pokeball for us, which has an ether. Still, the variety of Pokemon we're running into is so exciting. I feel like with some of the other Pokemon games, we sometimes run into a lot of the same things and it can get a little exhausting, but with this one, seeing lots of variety, it's been a ton of fun. But I think we have one more trainer waiting for us up there. Before we go for it, um, I wanna heal, just because, you know, Sprigatito is currently paralyzed, I think. I don't know if that lasts between battles, but I'll just heal our Pokemon to be extra careful of it. So there we go. Let's put this in for a few seconds. And as you can see, we are ready to go. Let's see who we want to battle here. Oh, by the way, did you know? Ooh, handy functions to remember. There are all kinds of handy functions registered to your directional buttons. Check them out. So up will make us use emotes. Down will make us open the camera app. Left will change the outfit or look, or right will change or check notices. Interesting, very useful to have. Or did you already know all that? Well, I do hope my little tidbits come in handy. They definitely do. Well, thank you very much. In the meantime, a stitch in time saves nine. Do some shopping at the Pokemart. Better to be prepared than not, I say. Uh, that last move was fantastic. I taught it to my Pokemon with a TM. All right, we'll definitely learn some TMs later. Been having some nice battles. I think this is another trainer. Hello there, I'm a Pokemon League rep. Been having some nice Pokemon battles? Well, good news. If you can defeat four trainers here in Area 1 of the South Province, there's a lovely prize with your name on it. So far, you've defeated four trainers here in Area 1 of the South Province. On behalf of the Pokemon League, here's your lovely prize. We got Thunder Wave. The user launches a weak jolt of electricity that paralyzes the target. We're holding this challenge for other areas around Paldea too. Stop by and try them. I would love to. So we got ourselves a move that I could definitely give to Palmy at some point. We'll have to wait and see. But for right now, I guess there's another trainer to take on. I came to Massagosa to take on, take some, to make some deliveries, but let's have a quick battle. Will do, so I guess this is a delivery person of some sort. You're challenged by Iker the Courier. Very cool. And they are sending out Rookity. Very cute. I don't know if we have a typing advantage against this, so, so let's just go ahead and use a bite. Let's see how much damage I might end up doing. Oh, quite a lot. They're using Power Trip though, which is going to Oh, I do two HP of damage. We're fine, let's do another bite. So this is looking quite good so far. Rookity has fainted. And that was it for Iker the Courier. Guess I delivered you a win. All right, we get 552 in prize money. And goes is so massive, it's easy to get lost if you don't check your map app. I agree, so here we are. At the, the front of Mesagosa, can we go inside? I sure hope so. Quite the grand door, though. For like a fraction of the size of the thing. Oi, Zebra! Oh, it's Nimona again. Somehow we got ahead of them. Did you battle some trainers on the hill? Bet your Pokemon are getting stronger. 
How about you show me how much you all have learned? In a battle? Sure. All right, nothing like having a friend around. Come on, Zebra, let's have us a fruitful battle. Will do, so we're gonna test our might of our team, the Pokemon we've caught so far against Nimona. We had the first battle in the first episode. How things might step up here, I guess we'll have to wait and see. You are challenged by Pokemon trainer Nimona. They're sending out Quaxley, which we have a typing advantage of against with whatever the word is, with Sprigatito. You seem like you're getting better at this, so I'm coming at you with two Pokemon this time. I regret to inform you we have an entire team now, so we'll see how this goes. For right now, we'll use a super effective Leafage and see how it goes. Got it. All right, then, so that's a one-hit takedown on Quaxley. I'm so sorry, but that critical really coming in helpful. You really work your tight matchups. I can tell how badly you want to win. A critical hit? Wow, nice one. I have a hard time landing those, even if I try. Quaxley is gonna faint, and get a lot of experience here too. Level 10 with Fletchling, eight with Palmy, and nine with another one. Um, Fletchling wants to learn to move Ember, and Palmy wants to learn to move Charge. So what about Palmy here? Um, let's see really quickly what they have. Charge, the user becomes charged, boosting the power of electric type moves it uses. This also boosts the special defense stat. I think that is very nice. So I think we'll even put that over Scratch, because we don't need Scratch and Quick Attack. That feels a little bit too much. So um, this move always goes first. It's just a better version of Scratch, it feels like. So we'll put that over. Should be a really good setup for Palmy. We'll have to try Palmy in a couple of battles soon enough, but for right now, Palmy forgot Scratch and learned Charge instead. But for right now, let's get back to this battle. Um, Pokemon trainer Nimona is about to send out Palmy. Well, what do you know? We will keep with our current Pokemon because it just sort of makes sense. Wow, doing even better than I expected. You're legit, Zebra. Well, thank you very much. Nimona sent out Palmy. All right then, so let's battle again. And this time, I guess we can keep with Leaf Age? Sure, it's gonna be a typing advantage because we're also grass type. Battling you is a blast. Think I better pull out my ace in the hole. What is that? Uh, what is that? Whoa, it's so shiny. I don't know what this is. Uh, they are really shiny. They're like a foil version. They got a light bulb on their head. What is going on? Sprigatito used Leaf Age on them and that still does half of their health, but what is this thing? I actually don't know anything about this. Terrestrializing is always a solid strategy. It gives moves of the Pokemon Terra type. What? Can you, can you say that a little slower? I don't know what Terra type is. Thundershock, it's not very effective still, but it's a critical hit. This is so fancy, it's gotten so dark. Terrestrializing gives a real boost, see? Even when a move isn't very effective, look at how hard it hits. And it paralyzes us. Brigatito's paralyzed, so it may be unable to move. Let's go for it again, though. One more Leaf Age, if we can land it. They're using Thundershock again, though. Uh-oh. And that is doing a decent number on us. Come on, come on. There it is, we got you. So some Pokemon can be terrestrialized? Huh. Well, there we go, that was quite the experience in level 12 for Sprigatito. Man, I can't believe how fast you're improving. We get 540 in prize money, that's great. Amazing, look at you taking on a terrestrialized opponent and winning, no problem. Come to think of it, you can't terrestrialize your Pokemon yet, huh? Don't worry, I'll get you taken care of. You're so good with Pokemon battles, I forget how new you are to this stuff sometimes. Anyway, it was, a f it was fun to battle you. Here, have some revives as thanks. You obtained three re revives. Put those away in the medicine's pocket. Now, Mesa goes is waiting just past this gate. Alas, the city where our school is. There's a ton of hills and stairs and stuff in the city, so I'm gonna take a quick breather and then catch up with you soon. All right, then that was pretty cool. Are we heading inside right now though? I guess so. Whoa, here we are. We've made it to Mesagoza. So many buildings, people, and probably plenty of things to experiment, experience too. That's gonna be great. Is that a sandwich shop over there? 
Ooh, and probably some clothes we can buy to customize our character. That'll be great. That is really a lot of stairs to climb. The Mona was not kidding. All right, here I am. We finally made it, huh? This is Masagoza, the biggest city in Paldea. It's been a big trade hub since a long time ago. Lots of folks come here to learn about advances in technology and all kinds of other stuff. There's a hair salon where you can change your looks, plus places with tasty foods and fixings. What do you want to see first, Zebra? Uh, you know what? I want to see the tasty food. Ha, I didn't have you pegged for a big eater. But that's smart. You can't battle well with a growling tummy, right? Oh, and speaking of battling, I want to be sure you'll be able to terrestrialize your Pokemon too, Zebra. There's a few things that you gotta get done for that to happen, but I'll take care of them. Meanwhile, you just have fun looking around the city a bit. There's so much to do. Grab a bite, buy some accessories to spice up your uniform. If you want my personal recommendation, you've gotta see Deli Bird Presents. They sell handy items for Pokemon to hold. That sounds great. Once you've seen your fill, we can meet up again in front of the school. Just be ready, the stairs up to the school are no joke. Later then, get pumped for some terrestrializing. All right, well that's great. So a lot has happened in today's episode. We of course met up with that legendary Pokemon, um, the Maridon, which was so cool. We got through that cave with the Houndoom attacking us. We of course went through all the way up to here, uh, the Mesagoza, and apparently there's something called terrestrializing, a new thing for Pokemon battles that we'll be experiencing here um, later on with uh, Nimona, that'll be so cool. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.